Hi, welcome back. I'm Chuck and today we're going to make over the stated kitchen table. Last week you saw me build the console tables for my friends James and Brandy. The console tables actually sit in the room adjacent to where this kitchen table is. And this table sitting next to those looks a little out of date. It actually reminds me of every kitchen table I saw during the 1990s. Everybody I knew had this table and we're just gonna try and make it a little bit more modern. So the first step we're going to have to accomplish is to take off the top. We are going to flip it upside down since it's held to the apron with pocket screws and we're just gonna unscrew it and take the top off. I have the tabletop off and we have it set up here. I have some stripper that I can use, but I'm gonna try and just sand it with uh, 80 grit sandpaper and see how that does. It's not plugged in. Since this, uh, table is about 30 40 years old it appears that just standing like the finish is already worn enough to where uh, it's not very thick anyway so it looks like we're just going to be able to sand it straight off So I started out with uh, 80 grit and we sanded from 80 to 220 and it's pretty smooth now uh, and we're going to go ahead and rough up the chairs with some sandpaper. We don't really need to take all the finish off of them but we need to uh, get them to a point where the spray paint will stick to them. So let's start doing that. The chairs aren't as old so the uh, finish is actually a lot thicker. So it's taken a little bit more work to get it off and with all the little nooks and crannies, I'm not able to use the random orbit sander. So a sanding block and some sandpaper it is. All right, so we're gonna start the staining process with our ferrothene dark walnut. Let's see how this goes. You want to go with the grain, however, that's kind of difficult when you're doing the edges, so I will go back over them up to the edge on the top with the grain. Now we have the finish on the table. We're going to go ahead and spray paint the chairs. I'm going to spray paint on this darker color first because then the white is going to be able to cover it up better and you'll be able to see the spots on the dark color better than you would over the wood if I spray paint it dark first. So we're gonna spray paint it dark, let it dry, and spray paint it white. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat. We put a second coat on the tabletop. Now it's time to spray white on the chairs. Let's do it. If you're ever wondering which way the wind's blowing, just spray some spray paint. We'll figure it out pretty quick. After five coats of stain and dark walnut, we have the tabletop to the color that we want it to be. So we are going to let it dry for a little bit and then start putting some finish on it. So I am using Verithane Ultimate Polyurethane. This is a water-based finish. We're going to go ahead and spray it on the chairs outside here and hopefully it doesn't get sprayed on me because of the wind.
I'm going with a uh, aerosol polyurethane because I think that there's just way too many like small nooks and crannies on these chairs to be able to do a brush on and it would just be a total mess. Usually requires more coats, but what the heck. The tabletop is dry now, so I am going to apply a coat of Minwax Polycrylic. And how you apply this is you go in one direction. It's not like painting. You're gonna to wanna to just apply it in one direction. I use a foam brush. That's always worked really well for me. Stir it up a little bit. And I usually put about three coats. Since this is a kitchen table, I'll probably put four coats on it and sand it in between with 220 grit, uh, really light sanding. Just in one direction with the grain. Instead of putting heavy coats of polycrylic on, it's best to do multiple thin coats. While we're waiting on this to dry, go ahead and give my video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you already haven't and the bell so you get notified when I put out a new video. This helps me a lot by getting more exposure to my videos and it helps you because it lets YouTube know what kind of videos you like so that you'll get more stuff in your feed that uh, you'll want to watch. Thanks. The first coat of polycrylic has completely dried so I'm just going to give this a light sanding and go ahead with the second and subsequent coats of the polycrylic. After sanding, I'll go ahead and just wipe it off with a flint-free cloth. Make sure there's no residue on there. Feels very smooth. Again, we're doing a 220 grit at this point. Real fine sanding. Now we're gonna do a second coat of the polycrylic. Kind of wish I had an HVLP system at this point. Make things go a lot quicker. And the key, like I said before, is a lot of thin coats, not just throwing a bunch of on there because you don't want it to like build up. You don't want it to glob. So after five coats of polycrylic, we were done with the table and it turned out exactly like we wanted to. It matches the other tables in the room and has the, uh, the modern look and it doesn't look like it's in the 90s anymore. So if you want to uh, subscribe, just hit this button up here and there's another video for you to check out over here.